released in 1994 for the Super Nintendo. We have Super Mario All-Stars. And it's quite an interesting game. It's a compilation cartridge for the Super Nintendo. Let's pop it in and give it a try. Now as you can see this cartridge includes Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3 as well as the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 2 which they are calling the Lost Levels on here. Let's take a closer look at how Super Mario Bros. 1 looks on the Super Nintendo in Super Mario All-Stars. Now as you can see in here the graphics and sound have gotten an overhaul for this version of Super Mario Bros. 1. The game generally looks and sounds better. It's an improvement. Uh, except for one minor complaint that I have, and that's the parallax scrolling going on in the background. While that effect is somewhat subtle and a, a nice touch graphically, uh, if you're a fan of the original Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo, you'll notice that it'll throw your game off a little bit because you may use uh, certain cues in the background scenery um, to alert you to certain things in the environment. So that's my only real complaint with the game. Uh, at least uh, the Super Mario Bros. 1 part of the game. And otherwise, it's uh, the gameplay remains intact and solid. The controls are uh, just how I remember them from Super Mario Bros. 1. And uh, there you have it. Aside from the parallax scrolling in the background, uh, the game remains uh, quite fun to play. But if you are a Super Mario purist, then you'll probably tend to agree with me about the parallax scrolling thing. It'll just throw your game off ever so slightly. Now let's take a quick look at Super Mario 2, the Japanese version, which they're calling Super Mario The Lost Levels. Now if you live outside of Japan, Super Mario Bros. 2 is a bit of an enigma. Being that it was only originally released in disc format for the Famicom Disk System, a Japanese-only add-on for the Famicom. So if you're a big fan of retro Nintendo gaming, and you don't want to have to deal with a Japanese import system and disc and disk drive, uh, then this is uh, one of your few choices for playing this game. Though the gameplay physics are altered from the original version of Super Mario Bros. 2 for the disc system. The uh, Luigi physics are changed uh, back to the standard Mario physics, and the overall Mario physics were tweaked a little bit. So again, purists might complain about that version of the game. But you don't have many choices if you don't have a Famicom Disk System. Now let's take a look at the US version of Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Super Mario All-Stars cart. Now, although this game was originally a reworked version of the Japanese game Doki Doki Panic, um, for the Famicom Disk System again, uh, which originally had a save feature on the uh, Japanese Doki Doki Panic version. Uh, and because of the save feature, you had to beat the game in all four characters. Um, that's not the case even though this version of the game does have a save feature. They reverted back to the, um, the regular gameplay dynamics of the original Super Mario Bros. 2. Let's move on to Super Mario Bros. 3. And yet again we see an improved set of graphics and sound. I'm leading towards Super Mario Bros. 3 being the uh, best of the four games on the cart uh, as far as uh, improved graphics and sound go uh, factored into the uh, gameplay. It just seemed a little bit awkward with uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2 and Super Mario Bros. Lost Level. But it seems to fit uh, pretty well with Super Mario Bros. 3. Not that the other ones are bad, it's just that I felt this one was the best fit of the overhaul. So all in all, you have four classic games on one cartridge here with Super Mario All-Stars. One of them being a, uh, a version of a Japanese import that was uh, frankly not available until uh, this game came out for the first time outside of Japan. So all those factors contribute to this game being uh, somewhat uh, of a game that's in demand. So when you do find this game for sale, it tends to be a little more higher priced than any other Super Nintendo games around. But this game is perfect for the casual retro video gamer. It does offer you the chance to play the uh, fabled 
Japanese Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, with little effort and uh, importation of, from other countries. But if you're a hardcore classic gamer, then uh, you may have issues with this game uh, just for the simple fact that it's not the pure versions of the original games. But uh, I find the uh, updated versions, uh, at least the updated graphics and sound, interesting. It catches my attention, that's for sure. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.